pregnant, not that I'm saying that I am, but being pregnant <laughs> means making some changes to your diet as eating right becomes much more important. So here to talk about some great things that you should be eating if you are pregnant is Kimberly Olson. Welcome back. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Okay, well you clearly are, you're seven and a half months yes. along. Okay, so, and you, you were eating healthy before you became pregnant, mm -hmm. but even more so, like we said, it's so important now. Yeah, absolutely. And I think sometimes people think, I get to eat for two now, and that's not exactly correct. Yeah. Um, working with your doctor is really important because everyone's going to have different needs, but there are a few different things. Some of the same principles apply for everyone, so I think everyone can benefit from this, but you do have to tweak a few things. Um, of course, you know, your lean proteins, your water, things like that. Drinking a ton of water, we all know we need to drink more. All my clients are like, I know I need to drink more, mm -hmm. but constantly carrying water around, put some lemon in it, but our water needs to increase when we're pregnant. Our baby, babies are about 85% water. Oh, wow. Yeah, so you want to make sure that that's and good water. And it's so hard to do that, too, because when you're pregnant, you feel so big and so stuffed yes. already. Yeah, like there's no room. Adding more water to it, plus um, your bladder's squished. Yeah. So you have to pee all the time. Yes. Okay, but it is You important. have to force yourself. And I have noticed when people are hydrating, they actually retain less water. So the last few months, especially when you start retaining more, Ooh, the more so you water you that, drink, yeah, that it can be helpful. It can be helpful for everyone. Okay. Um, but also some of the, this is your macronutrients. This is your micro getting into your calcium, getting into your folate. Uh, so things like Greek yogurt, I love because you're getting the calcium source and also citrus, your leafy greens. We also want to increase our iron needs. They actually double during pregnancy from 15 to 30 milligrams. Really? Yes. That's interesting because we know about folic acid, mm -hmm. about how important that is, but iron too. Okay. Yes. And if you don't, it can develop something as such as serious as anemia. One trick though is to pair your iron with citrus or vitamin C. It can actually increase absorption. Yeah. So if you do a green leafy salad, add some citrus with it. Very interesting. Yeah. Okay. And then uh, essential fatty acids, obviously omega fatty acids, those are going to build the baby's brain, heart mm -hmm. health. And then this I have found to be, oh, did you have a well, question? I was just going to say, this great stuff that you bring in from Genesis Day, this is actually a Texas company, right? In yeah, Austin. they're in Austin, Texas. That's where I live. I'm one of their educators. So my little trick is I put a scoop of powdered greens in my smoothies uh -huh. just to make sure I'm getting several servings of leafy vegetables. Yeah, because that's one thing we talk about all the time is the importance of eating whole foods and getting your green leafy vegetables. But honestly, most of us don't have the time to yeah. eat as much as we actually need to eat to get the nutrients. So it's, this is a great Absolutely, a great especially option. when you become a mom and mm -hmm. you have this busy life. So that's a way to sneak it in. And then omega fatty acids, this is actually a, a plant-based source. So if you want to do something other than fish oil, um, you can actually do this. And that's why I recommend it. You can get these at um, Sunflower Shop and Sprouts have them. Okay, great. And then snacking, having oh, a plan yummy. for a snack attack because the cravings, we were talking mm -hmm. about you know being pregnant earlier. The cravings are crazy. Like I wanted bagels for like a month. I don't know. Yeah. So what had helped me is having a little bag of trail mix at all times. So healthy trail mix, throw in some dark chocolate for good measure. Or you can do nut butters like cashew. Mm -hmm. There's so many different kinds. You can grind your own at Whole Foods and then pair it up with some vegetables, and it's such a great easy snack. They're so good. And then you're I mean you're getting your fats too. You know yes. your healthier fats. I would, be, I would be the one overdoing it on this. <laughs> yes, so that's a good point. One tablespoon is about 100 calories. Yeah. So it's not going, oh yay, and start eating the whole container. Mm -hmm. Definitely wanna keep an eye on it, but just to curb you a little bit. And your your nutrition needs and calorie needs do go up a little bit, so having snacks on hand Yeah, can but be they helpful. don't go up as much as you think no, they do, which no. is why when I sat down with literally an entire jar of peanut butter and ate it in one <laughs> sitting, it's not, it's not a good idea. I hear that from that. a lot of That's why friends. I was like this, and that's why you look like that. <laughs> Thank you, but yeah, Thanks just having snacks with you at all times literally can really be helpful. Yeah, don't let yourself get to that hungry place because no. then that's when all the bad decisions happen, Yes, right? absolutely. <laughs> okay, well, thank you <laughs> yeah. so much for bringing all this in. and Good Thanks luck to you and baby, thank your you. sweet baby girl. <laughs> um, you can get more from Kimberly by going to our website, thebroadcasttv.com. Just click on today's links and you'll get all her info. We'll show you how to get in touch with her too. And